To my future husband, the day is finally here. Who would have thought that a classic text message to be your girlfriend would lead us to this day? My heart is full knowing that today I get to marry the man of my dreams and my better half. You have grown to be my best friend, my rock, and my soulmate. We have countless memories together, but I can't wait to see what adventures this new chapter brings us. I will strive to be the best wife I can possibly be. I will support you every single day and with every obstacle that presents itself. I promise to always be your best friend, make you laugh, and to be there when you cry. But most importantly, I will love you unconditionally for the rest of our life. Personally, I am kind of excited for today. I was excited for today because I knew that my daughter was marrying uh, her best friend. I still can't believe it. The day we've dreamed about since we were little girls, the day we've talked about for so many years, who we're gonna marry, when we're gonna get married, where we're gonna get married, etc. I can't believe the day I watched my best friend marry the love of her life is today. And Derek, who knew that the girl you asked out via text messaging in the ninth grade would become your wife? I have no doubt that you'll take the very best care of her. You two truly complete one another. She lights up when she talks about you and counts down the days until your next rotation. I've enjoyed riding along on your journey for the past 10 years. I wish you a lifetime of love and all the wealth, health, and happiness in the world. My final pieces of advice are to never go to bed angry and always say I love you. Hey cutie, today is a big day. I can't express how excited I am to finally say I do. It has been a wonderful 10 years of dating and I can't wait for many more to come. I want to thank you for everything you have done for me. You are extremely supportive and always back me up. No matter the type of mood I am in, you always find a way to make things better. There is not a minute that passes when I am not thinking about you. I wake up in the morning and you're the first person I text. Throughout the day, I text you letting you know I am always a phone call away. At the end of the night, you are the last person I talk to. In a few short hours, you will finally become a jock. I can't wait to see your beautiful face walk down the aisle. It will take a lot to hold the tears back. Until then, I love you, Sierra. I asked Derek and Sierra some questions about each other, and here is what they said. Derek said, my first impression of her when we started dating was that she was very unique, <laughs> in a good way, I'm sure, and didn't care what others thought about her. She was outgoing and adventurous. I knew I wanted Sierra to be my wife right after college. Then, when I knew I would actually propose, was when I got invited to go on a Sensky family trip to Banff. I thought to myself, how perfect. Getting to propose to my love in a beautiful place. Sierra said, my first impression of Derek was, wow, he's pretty quiet for my love personality. But, he had the cutest smile and best laugh. He loves me for who I am. He supports me in everything I do. He makes me feel like literally the only girl in the world. He brings calmness to my life. He's always telling me that everything will be all right. And now I get the honor and privilege to announce to you all, Mr. Derek and Mrs. Sierra Jonk, you may kiss your ride. Woo! 
I've had a feeling since ninth grade that this day was gonna happen, and here we are. I thought it would have happened sooner, but we still made it happen. All in all, I love you guys, and I wish the best in your marriage and careers for years to come, and let's make it a night to remember or night to forget, however you guys want to do it. Derek and Sierra have been dating since their freshman year in high school. Derek, he had a homecoming football game. That morning you were looking for a jersey. We didn't know where it was. So come the homecoming night, we're sitting up in the bleachers. Derek's out on the football field and here comes Sierra up the bleachers and she's got this number 34 on. As I'm looking, Sierra looks up and she smiles at me. That's kind of where I first initially remember seeing Sierra. Sierra finishes off basketball, they have a little party, and I go sit down at the table with Derek. I don't remember how we got on the subject, we started talking, and I go, yeah, you know, just, you know, Sierra's important to me, and blah, blah, blah. He goes, yeah, yeah, she's a good catch. Now, this is after about two months of hearing the echoes in the air of, Derek's got a 4.0, Dad. Derek's really smart. And I started thinking, well, he must be a pretty good guy. But at that moment, all I heard was, catch. He's an outdoors guy, right? So good catch is, that's a good thing, right? So, Derek, you're a good guy. You're a good catch. And that's what my toast is to everybody, is let's raise your glasses to a good catch. May the rest of your days be happy with a good catch. <laughs>